In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, repeat a sequence of days on and off for staff. This is a video, uh, this schedule I did several years ago. And what I did is I based it on um, Saturday, Sunday, and everything else. But what I've done is I have done it so that I can do a sequence. So I don't have to do um, based on the Saturday and Sunday. I'm basing it off the first day. Now my schedule is starting on a Saturday and um, then each of the staff have different requirements for days on and days off. And so the, once you have established this, whether it's seven days, 14 days, 21 days or 28 days, you can repeat it as many times as you need to run the schedule. So first of all, I'm running it just for the four weeks. So and here you can see uh, the first three people have um, Saturday and Sunday off. Um, the second uh, the second group of people work Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, the third group of people have work, work Monday, or I'm sorry, have um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, and they work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, but you can see that the pattern repeats itself here every seven days, they all work the same days. And so let me show you the code. Okay, so now I have run it now for um, for four, but let's we could run the same pattern for 10, right? So let's change this to 10 for 10 weeks. And um, now what it's done is it, I'm basing it on, it's searching for the first Saturday. When Saturday in the, the day numbers is seven, then we're assigning that value to C, okay? And then um, when I select RC, R being the row, C being the column, which is seven initially, and so that, and offset one, so as I'm getting both Saturday and Sunday as off. And that, that's the ones that um, they're just, they work Monday to Friday and have Saturday, Sunday off. Uh, now the second set, they, um, they work Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And so what I've done is I've selected or gone to the RC again, and then I've basically done offset to get the days off that they need. And the last one, they, um, they work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And once more time, I've gone to my original one, um, my original, original R and C, and then I've offset to get the days off that they require. Now, um, what I'm doing is it's going by week. So I'm going, when I go to my loop, I'm doing, I do, do while, uh, a do while loop and I'm saying count is equal to less than 10. So I want to do 10 weeks or nine weeks here. And now what I'm doing is I'm, my C is going up by seven. So it's going by the week and the count is equal to a uh, count, which is set to zero and count is equal to count plus one. And so now I'm going to go and I'm going to get my 10 weeks on here. And so now um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change this B or this AJ to BT. And then I'm going to run the code again and we will. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything that's on here originally. And now I've set this to 10 weeks. And so let's run the schedule. And there it goes happily repeating all the way down till 10 weeks and you keep going. And so once you have established the sequence of days on and off, whether it's one week, two weeks, three weeks or four weeks, you can repeat these as many times as you want. So you can pop possibly have a schedule for a year or a schedule for six months so that you can refer to when people are on and when two people are off. I will, of course, include the, um, the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.